Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about the troubleshooting steps that every Outlook user must know. In this video, we are going to focus on Outlook profile creation issue and how we can use different steps to successfully create a profile. So let's get started. Usually, to set a profile, we either use the Outlook application directly or do it from the control panel. So uh, from the Outlook application, whenever we have new install of the office, we can just run the Outlook application. It will directly prompt for the email address and then from the password and then it will create the profile. Uh, on my Outlook, we already have a profile, so that wouldn't give us that prompt. And the other way to do it is it uh, from the control panel. So on the control panel, we just go here. We go to mail here. And under mail, uh, you will click on show profile and add a profile. Give it a name and hit OK. And then it asks for the information we will add it here and enter the password as well and then hit next it usually creates the profile but sometimes it doesn't create a profile giving us some error the error doesn't have much information for us to troubleshoot according to it so uh basically in this scenario we have a couple of steps that we try in order to get this working usually we check few things uh verify the password is correct or verify whether you have mfa turned on to the account so to check for the password you can simply go to office.com login with your email address and type in the password just to confirm the password is correct and if you have mfa set up on your account uh, you might need an app password uh, which is different than the usual password so whether we have to use app password or the normal password it depends on the authentication from the outlook so uh Outlook uses two methods to create a profile. Uh, it uses modern authentication or basic authentication to create a profile. And in modern authentication, we don't need the app password. While in basic authentication, we need a password for the Outlook configuration. So uh, if you have Outlook 16, that is Outlook 2016 installed onto the computer, uh, it basically uses modern authentication, so you don't have to use the app password. But it also depends on the settings on the computer. So let me just show you how you can differentiate uh, between modern authentication and basic authentication. The steps uh, which we can use in order to troubleshoot the profile is uh, when we fail while adding the name, email address and password. Then we can try adding the name again, the email address, and this time we will leave the password field as blank. And then we can hit next. Then it will prompt us for the password. And by seeing at the prompt, we can recognize whether it is a modern authentication prompt or a basic. So if you see a big box of Microsoft, just, just as you see on the screen right now, it is basically modern authentication and it will need your normal password even if you have mfa on it will not require your app password so make sure that you are using your normal password here whenever you see this kind of prompt on your computer and then you can hit next and it will configure the profile and it will ask for the password and then it will configure the profile so we will not do that and let me just show you the basic authentication mode as well and this is the error which we usually get. Uh, it doesn't give us all the information. So yeah, uh, the troubleshooting steps are limited. 
so um we can basically enable the basic authentication on outlook by simply adding a registry key uh let me just show you how we have to do it we just have to search for registry editor and under registry editor um we will have to go to the path which is actually current user then software then microsoft then office and the version of office so i have 16 installed onto the computer so i will see the 16 or uh, 16.0 but if you have uh, office 13 you might have 15.0 here so make sure that you you are selecting the version properly and um under 16.0 or 15.0 you will see a common folder and under common folder you will see a identity folder you just have to right click on that folder and click on new d word 32 bit and you just have to name it enable adal so once you do that uh, if you have a value set to one it will enable the adal that is modern authentication but if you make the value to zero it will prompt for basic authentication in outlook you can just hit refresh here and then go back in creation of outlook profile and again we will not enter the password just to see the password prompt and there you can see the basic authentication prompt you can see it is a prompt from windows security for the mail application and not as the prompt which we see for the modern authentication earlier so this uh, is the two way for us to recognize whether the outlook is using basic authentication or modern authentication so now we know the difference between modern authentication and basic authentication for outlook now let's get back to the troubleshooting part so if we fail in creation of profile from the control panel uh the steps which we have to follow is uh we, we can again go back to creation of profile and uh you can add the name here the email address don't enter the password hit next so if you see a password prompt for modern authentication try entering the password again uh, which should be your normal password not your app password if it fails then uh, we will go back in the registry and enter the registry enable adal click on it twice and you can change the value here one indicates that we have modern authentication on and zero indicate for the basic authentication as we talked earlier so uh, if the modern authentication fail uh, we will try with basic authentication and vice versa so if the basic authentication fails we will uh, change the value to value data one and it will prompt for modern authentication and then you can enter the password and check and this basically resolves most of the issue for outlook profile creation and uh, if you are not getting the password prompt for the email address that means that uh, there is a credential saved onto your computer you can go back to credential manager uh, which you can see here go to credential manager windows credential and any entry for microsoft office or outlook.office365.com you can remove it from there so once you do that uh, you will be prompted from the password 
and uh, you can use this step if it is modern authentication prompt use a basic one by enabling the registry value to zero and vice versa and that basically fixes most of the issues with outlook um, but even if this doesn't fix your issue uh, just check uh, whether your windows is up to date as well sometimes um, it creates issues with that as well so you can go here and click on check for update and make sure it is up to date once this is up to date uh, you can go into the office application to check if there is any office update after you have installed the new os so you can go to file office account and then you can click on update office and here you can see the option update now you can just simply click on it and it will check for the update and if there is any update pending it will update that as well and then you can give it a try again and if that fails as well then we will move to the next step if it still doesn't work then you can add a registry key uh, that is basically https root domain what it basically does is it informs outlook to exclude the query for root domain so if you had a past move of your domain for example from uh, the imap server to office 365 or you can say uh, from a third party provider which could be a godaddy as they offer email services as well so if you move from there to office 365 uh, outlook might still have some information in in the registry so basically if you have done migration in the past uh, you might have to use this and give it a try it might fix the issue as well so let me just show you how we have to add the key uh, we just have to simply open the registry editor again and give the required permissions and uh, in registry editor uh, we'll have to go to the same paths uh, which is current user software microsoft office 15.0 or 15.0 depending on the version of office installed and then uh, we will click on outlook and then auto discover so in here we just have to right click on new the word 32 bit and we will have to add the value which is exclude https root domain so you can just copy this right click on this rename paste the value do make sure that you don't have spaces at the end or at the start and you can hit ok and just give the value one to value data and then you can hit save once you do that uh, go back to the control panel do enter the email address don't enter the password and then it will prompt for the password then you can enter the password and check whether it is working for you or not and uh, just in case uh, for some reason if it doesn't create the profile then i would recommend using the application uh, which is microsoft support and recovery tool uh, which you can see here you can just search it on the browser Tara space plus office 365 uh, this is the link which basically has the application so you can just click here and uh, click on download to download the application once you have downloaded the application you can hit the installer and it will initiate the installation once it is completed uh, let me just show you what are the steps which you can perform so uh, as you can see it has a lot of troubleshooting steps uh, for different applications of office 365 but now we will click on outlook here hit next and uh, as you can see it has multiple options here uh, but we will select I need help setting up my office 365 email in outlook hit next 
yes it is the affected machine then hit next then you can enter your email address and it will take its time and it will basically give you the information after every check mostly it end up getting dns issue if you don't have auto discover set up in the dns it will throw that or it might point out some registry keys that you need to enter which can fix the issue so uh, basically this should be the last troubleshooting step so if this doesn't work then it will require a uh, second level support um, provided that um, we don't have an active service incident on your tenant this is basically the steps which we perform at microsoft for first level support you can give this a try whenever you have issues with outlook profile creation let me know how it goes for you if there is any doubt you can drop a comment and i will respond to it as well if you learn something new uh, you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well you can watch my previous videos as well that basically has more tips and tricks fix the issues with microsoft products Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.